Hey everyone, let's discuss wrist wraps while you're deadlifting. So for those that don't know, let me try to get creative here. It's gonna be difficult. Uh, we're gonna grab this bag, my new camera bag. It's so new, it's still got a tag on it. Cause I don't know if it's big enough. I might need to return it. Peak design, it's very nice. Highly recommended, very intuitive design. A wrist wrap is like a circle that wraps around your wrist just like this, hopefully you can see some of that. And a strap comes down and wraps around the bar. And so I can take, it's just kind of holding there, right, on my wrist. I can take it, wrap it around the bar like this, and then I grab it with my fingers so that it doesn't unroll. That is a wrist wrap. Thank you, Peak Design, for helping me out. Um, so, so what this does is it takes your grip kind of out of the equation. It doesn't mean that I don't have any tension on my grip muscles. It doesn't mean that I'm not training my grip at all because you do still, like if I totally relax my arms, that bar will fall out. Okay. But what it does do is it'll, it gives you a little bit more room for play. So if I like to deadlift, especially if I'm doing, especially me right now, so I'm not powerlifting, wrist wraps aren't allowed in powerlifting. So then you're either going to have to grab your thumbs like this once the weight gets heavy, or you're going to alternate your hands like this once the weight gets heavy. I don't know. I've never seen anyone do their max lifts with a double overhand grip like this because it, the bar just starts rolling right out of them, right? Uh, but for me, let's say I'm just trying to do this to look good, right? I need to look like I work out because I talk about working out on camera. So <laughs> I, I want to stick with this double overhand position because I like what that does for my shoulders, right? I like the, the back position that I get out of that. So for that purpose, if I'm working to some, you know, longer sets or heavier sets, it's okay for me to use these wrist wraps because, you know, I might want to work up without them and get some grip training in, but, uh, you know, I think people are, <laughs> to put it bluntly, I think they're wrong when they say that you're not involving your grip at all, right? If you do that, it's still trying to pull your arms off your body, which is something that squeezing kind of helps not happen, right? And you're gonna get extra upper back training, you're gonna get extra lower body training, and you're not gonna have to do this little uh, turning, twisting, mixed grip business. So wrist wraps, to me, especially for bodybuilding purposes, can be very, very effective. Now, when would I not use them? Uh, we mentioned powerlifting, that's a big, big one. The other time that I like to not use them is I'll tell a client not to use them or I won't give them to a client because I want them to limit the amount of weight that they can do. So if maybe that is a, uh, maybe, maybe you deadlift and you like deadlifting but you frequently hurt your back and you know that it's because you frequently are pushing yourself a little bit too hard and doing things that maybe your back doesn't tolerate very well. Well, in that case, you can say, you can deadlift as much as you want as long as you do it with a double overhand grip. And so that is self-limiting in itself. That, that is self-limiting, right? It prevents you from doing so much that your body's getting so fatigued and you start to round your back out to keep, the, <laughs> keep your wrists underneath. Sometimes you'll start to do this so that it stops rolling out of your fingers. It kind of looks funny, but uh, it's, it's not really funny. I just find it peculiar. It's cool. <laughs> uh, the human body is interesting and the ways we, you know, uh, compensate are very interesting. Uh, but those are basically the only two times if I want to limit the load. And if I'm a power lifter that I would not use a wrist wrap. Otherwise, feel free to get some, feel free to try it out. You can also try the hook grip, but it'll feel like you're ripping your thumbnail off and it's very painful. So I'm, I am pretty sick, but I'm not that sick. So <laughs> if you prefer to do it that way, please leave me a comment below and tell me I'm a wuss.